Okay, we're looking at sycamore powdery mildew. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It kind of puckers the leaves in early stages and then it goes to, to this one. I, those are the spores, the black things, the black spots. Um, and so, let's see. Aerocyphes plent, plenty. Plenty? There you go. So anyway, it's a native powdery mildew and um, it is found primarily on um, sycamores and this is the native North American sycamore. Occidentalis is the species uh, and it's spread worldwide like a, you know any good disease wants to do and so probably wreaking havoc elsewhere. But um, this is, uh, most powdery mildews are environmentally encouraged. So this is succulent new growth. It's been the, the two trunks here. One was cut and so this is uh, uh, sprouting. And so that's not a lot of airflow. It's not really so much common uh, up there. But uh, airflow is going to be a, a good thing. As far as control, there's a number of uh, interesting chemicals, including uh, copper sulfite um, or copper containing compounds. Uh, but remember, fungus is related to animals, so it's really to our advantage not to uh, lean too heavily into fungus. If you can treat it environmentally, uh, like this, all should be cut off. Um, that's probably the better thing or in a greenhouse environment, uh, you put fans on it sort of thing. But uh, this wouldn't be a, a greenhouse um, pest. So, but anyway, powdery mildews, lots of them. So this is just a uh, endemic Na North American one. And I thought I'd point that out.